Hello boys and girls. I hope you're all well and enjoying the sunny weather. Now I've got another story for you from the Old Testament and this week's story is all about another person chosen by God to lead his chosen people, the Israelites. This person's name is Samuel and here is his story. Once, a long, long time ago, a good woman called Hannah went every year with her husband to the temple at Shiloh to worship God. There they are going with some other friends to worship God in the temple. One year, when everybody else was feasting, Hannah slipped away by herself to pray in the temple. She was unhappy because she had no children and the other women laughed at her. There's a picture of her being very unhappy. So she cried as she prayed and she said, Please God, give me a son. I promise I'll give him back to you so he can serve you all his life. Hannah's voice could not be heard, but her lips were moving. And the priest, whose name was Eli, was looking at her, at her and he thought she was drunk. Enough of this drunken behaviour, he said sternly. This is no place for you. Come back when you're sober. Oh, sir, answered Hannah, I'm not drunk. I'm pouring out my troubles to God. Then go in peace, said Eli, and may God give you whatever you ask for. Before the year was out, Hannah had a baby boy. She called him Samuel. She was very happy and she didn't forget her promise to God. When he was still small, she took him, Samuel, to the temple to see Eli. There she is with the little boy Samuel. The old priest looked down at the boy. Who is this? he asked. This is the son I prayed for, said Hannah. Now I have come to give him to the Lord so that he can, he can uh, serve God always. And so it was arranged. There's a picture of Hannah saying, I'm so happy to have this lovely child, Samuel. And so it was arranged. Samuel was to stay in the temple as Eli's helper and um, his mother was to visit him every year and make him new clothes as he grew out of his old ones. And there is a picture of Samuel helping Eli. Every year, Hannah came to visit Samuel. She brought him new clothes and she told him all the news from home. And later she brought his brothers and sisters to see him because Hannah then had five more children. Samuel enjoyed showing them round the temple and telling them how he tried to please God. Hannah was very happy to see that Samuel was quite at home in the temple. Now Eli, the priest, had two sons, but they were very bad men. They stole the offerings that poor people offered to God and Eli did nothing to stop them. One night, when Samuel was asleep, on his mat outside the, in, inside the temple, he had a voice calling his name. The boy sat up. The lamps were still burning, but he couldn't see anyone. He decided Eli must have called him. So he ran across to Eli. But Eli said, go back to sleep. I didn't call you. So Samuel lay down again. But the voice called once more. And again, he ran to Eli. Now the old priest realised that God was trying to speak to Samuel. If the voice calls again, he said, speak, say, to him, say to the voice, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. So Samuel lay down again. This time, when he heard his name called, he answered clearly, speak, Lord, your servant is listening. You must tell Eli that I shall punish his sons because they have turned against me, said God. The next morning, when Eli asked Samuel, what did the Lord say to you? Samuel didn't want to tell him, but at last he was persuaded to speak. There he is telling Eli what God had said. And when Eli heard God's message, he said, 
he is God, he must do as he thinks right. And when Samuel grew up, he told people, all the people, to listen to God. Now I've got, um, you've got some activities in your bags, which I'll, and I'll tell you about those in a minute. So I hope you like that story. Thank you for listening and um, I'll see you again in a little while. Bye bye for now.